What's up, gamers? Welcome into the weirdest, probably, tip video that you'll ever watch in your life. Because guess what? I'm not breaking it down like one, two, ten, tip number ten, tip number seven. No, we're just going to literally play the game for about 20 minutes. So I'm going to give you every tip I possibly know about the game. You might know some. You might not know others. Hopefully, you learned something. I've got some lists down here. I'm going to try and spit as much tips and tricks as I possibly can into this whole video. Make sure you like, make sure you comment down below if I miss something uh, to help out and you know other people that might be looking for more tips and subscribe for more. We're almost to 2,500 subs guys. Jesus Christ, but we're gonna go ahead and get into it man. Make sure as well, real quick, I'll go ahead and plug it. You know, you know pl plug it. Uh, Twitch every night in the description, literally playing this game. If you got questions, concerns, or you just want to hang out with us and have a good time and have some fun, come down to the description on this video and check out the link and come give us a follow on Twitch, man. Let's go. All right. So tips and tricks. Here we go. Here we go. All right. So, um, tip number one, if you don't know, um, let's see here. I'm going to chop down a bunch of grass here real quick. This is a bit. This is a big one. Honestly, people may or may not know this, uh, but we are going to chop down a bunch of stuff. Uh, first tip: If you don't know, a lot of people ask me, "How the heck do you carry so much stuff?" Because I can carry 22 items right now, which is, you know, normally a lot more than than you can carry on the regular. Um, okay, I don't have my other badge on. But more or less, what you're going to want is you're going to want the intern badge. I'm going to leave a link in the description for how to get all six badges in the game. If you don't know how to get them, you're going to need the fluffy poo-poo hat, which is the proper way to pronounce it. It is the fluffy poo-poo hat, okay? And you're going to need the two-piece set of red ant armor. And that's going to give you the ability to carry 22 brass blades, right? 22, okay? There we are, 22. All right, next tip. Uh, we're going to go ahead and drop all these real fast. And the next tip is, and this tip comes from a uh, recent subscriber of ours, um, these stalks, right? You know, you go through, you chop them all up for some plant fiber. Guess what? You don't have to chop them up if you got a spicy staff. I mean, that'll save you some time right there, baby. You need crude rope. You need a lot of crude rope really quick. You want to chop down a forest? Freaking just get it. Do that. Do that, okay? Uh, also, if you don't know, uh, another quick tip. You'll get a whole lot more crude rope if you put your plant fiber inside of a spinning wheel rather than crafting it in your inventory. Same thing goes with pupa leather, poo poo leather and berry leather. If you make them on the drinky rack, you're going to a whole lot. You're going to get one for one rather than three for one or whatever it is. So make sure you make a jerky rack for those. These tips are going to be all over the board, guys, for, like I said, for beginners, brand new people, intermediate, expert, whatever. Um, next tip here, we're going to head over this direction. I'm actually going to go ahead and take off my intern badge. It's going to drop 12 stacks, but the intern badge allows you to carry an additional 10 pieces. We're going to head over here to my little tower spot. Now, I highly suggest everybody do this right here. Build some sort of goofy looking tower. Make sure it's goofy looking because if it looks legit, it's just you're faking it, bro. You're faking it. Make you a zip line tower over here. It's literally because this next tip is going to change the way you play the game. Put the zip to wherever your house is at. You can reach anywhere from up here. And you look at the zip line and you press the drop button. And you can send sticks and grass from here to anywhere. And the reason I say here is if you don't know, this place is heavily, and I mean heavily populated with over a thousand sticks. You could literally get like, I don't even know, 200 stick pallets and not fill them up over here. I mean, that's they're everywhere. So if you need sticks for your builds, you want to use stem walls like these, or you want to use like, you know, the, the sturdy grass walls or whatever, whatever you need sticks for, build yourself a tower over here. So we're going to go up. We're actually going to take this. Actually, no, I'm not. Um, let's see here. Let's see here. Um, going through my list here. If you don't know, um, you know, for either shoveling clay or hammering rocks, uh, you can block after you do this. 
and it makes it a little bit faster. So if you're if you're farming a ton of them, punch block, punch block, you get the rhythm down. You can do that with clay with a shovel, or um, you know rocks with hammers and stuff as well. Um, also, if you don't know, just for the completely new new people, uh, make sure you peep everything in the game. That's the that's a really big tip. Make sure you peep everything in the game because you're gonna learn their strengths, their weaknesses. Uh, and that is, you know, as you progress through the game is, is, is extremely important. Okay. So like, uh, for instance, and they've actually just added this new feature. You might not be able to see it cause my camera might be in the way. Uh, but it actually pops up on the screen now. Uh, if you, you know, look at a creature like this, you can see some of it popping up over there. I've killed 133 of these and it tells us all the resistances, weaknesses, all that stuff. So that's a good tip for, for absolute beginner people. Um, if you're trying to figure out, you know, like you got your all your cards and you're missing a few, uh, one that I missed was over at the trash pile. There is actually a gnat over there called the meaty gnat. So make sure you've got the meaty gnat scanned. You might be missing that one. You might be missing that one. Um, all right, so we're going to go up here on top of the gas thing and let you guys know that uh, we can, in fact... At least it's clean plug the haze to where there is no gas over here so you can actually come and explore and walk around and look around uh all you're gonna need is a piece of bubble gum uh skirt gonna need a piece of bubble gum to get up there you know i'm not gonna go all the way up there but you go up to the top of that you put a piece of bubble gum down take your gas mask with you and uh plug that thing up uh, another thing we're gonna do here is, real quick is these things right here so for those of you that don't know you can get trinkets in the game. The trinkets go in your accessory slot over here. There's all kinds of them. There's one for each piece of candy. So salt, spicy, uh, sour, and mint. There's four trinkets that you can actually get potentially from farming those items. They'll randomly drop. But one that's very useful is the one you get from these haze funguses right here. So every time you see one of these, use your tier two ax, chop them up, and there's a chance and you will see it, it'll look like a little bag. Instead of one of these, it'll look like an actual like bag. And the shadow from this bird is freaking me out, man. Uh, but yeah, you can chop those and you can chop the exploding ones too. If you end up having to come by one, uh, the ones that like explode, don't forget that you can chop them with your ax. You know, I always ran from them whenever, uh, prior to me learning that, I would just run from them. Uh, another thing is that that gum is dumb. I don't know why that gum's even up there, but it's kind of lame. <laughs> Um, let's see here. Running around. Let's think of some other tips here. Uh, if you need a ton of, of web, this cave specifically right here where this wolf spider's in the entrance, uh, that is a very good place to go farm a bunch of silk if you need a bunch of silk. There's tons in there. Kill all the web sacks. Uh, take out all the, all the spiders. You'll come out, you'll come out feeling pretty nice after that. Um, so another couple tips here. Uh, one, if you have a charcoal canteen and you don't know, uh, you can literally get water from any source of water at all. Uh, you just scoop it up, and the way the charcoal canteen works is it filters out, you know, the stinky water and turns it into good, solid, drinkable water. So if you're ever out and about and you have a charcoal canteen, you're like, God, I need water. Where's a drip? I can't find a drip. Just scoop up some uh, regular old water off the ground. Easy claps. And if you guys don't know, with the recent update, uh, let's see here. I don't have any food in my inventory. Uh, with the recent update, you can use a spicy weapon of any sort against a you know a weevil, aphid, gnat, or whatever, and uh, it will turn them into cooked meat. It doesn't have to be the spicy. Doesn't have to be the spicy staff. It could be any spicy weapon. Period. Uh, same goes for salt as well. If you have a salty weapon and you need and you want some jerky, if you're weird and want jerky other than, instead of like regular meat, then then the the spicy or the salty weapons are gonna get you that 100%. So uh, let's see here. There's a couple more really good ones here. I'm gonna try and make my way over past all these orcs. Uh, let's see here. Come on. I've got uh, I've got a thing over here for mosquitoes. If you don't know this trick, and I'm pretty sure it's probably going to be patched out at some point if they end up finding out, maybe we'll get lucky and they'll watch this video and take it out. But until they do, um, more or less, you can cheese mosquitoes very easily with this next trick. As soon as I get here, uh, I've got to be getting close. 
getting around getting close here trying to get to the milk carton is where i'm headed headed for the milk carton now there's a spot over here it doesn't have to be over here but i have uh blueprints set up and if you do not know this this little brick right here this this square right here mosquitoes cannot pass blueprints check it out it's crazy this is nuts all right let's go get aggro of a couple of them here all right we got a couple three or something now let's just go right over here and stand here and laugh at them they can't come in they literally can't come in and they don't move you can literally just sit here and attack them so if you really need some heal bosses that's the way to go dude that is the way to go that's not so bad that is the way to go so also if you don't know uh you know this is another one for the new people that don't know what a pinch whacker even is uh, there is a hidden secret weapon uh, that you can actually get pretty early on in the game. Uh, it's right up here if I can freaking get my chunky butt up here. Uh huh. Okay, I can't, apparently. But uh, right over here, in that hole in the wall, there is the location of the pinch whacker. Now, what you're going to want to do is something along these lines, build some sort of cheap. Uh, ramp to get you up here. I use the two high walls because it seems to be about the cheapest way to do this. Uh, you're going to need a brat burst uh, to punch through this wall. If you don't know how to get brat burst, uh, you have to go to the red ant hill and get ant eggs, and that will give you brat burst. Uh, but uh, more or less, you're going to come down in here, and your pinch whacker is going to be located in this trash can. Super fun weapon to use, and make sure while you're in here, you grab the rotten berry leather charm. That's going to be right here. So that's another huge one. If you don't know where it's at, that is a great weapon to have. Uh, just make sure, and this is another tip to go along with the pinch whacker, uh, make sure that if you're using it and it goes to break, don't upgrade it until it's broken. Once it breaks, then go upgrade it to repair. If you did not know when you upgrade something from level one to two or so on, uh, it will repair, it will full repair that thing for you. Uh, so if you're having issues getting to the portion where you can unlock repair glue, uh, then because you need repair glue to fix the pinch whacker, sadly. But, uh, yeah, that, that would be my biggest tip right there for that is just, just completely, if it, if it breaks, upgrade it one time. It doesn't matter if you've got shards to upgrade it all the way up to five. If you don't have super glue yet or repair glue yet, then I would highly suggest, you know, upgrading it whenever it needs a repair. Um, let's see here. What else do we got? Oh, I'll take you to the sprig area. If you guys don't know how to get a ton of sprigs, you know, you actually need a lot of sprigs when you're starting out building. So it's right on the other side of this log here. Uh, there is what I call the sprig forest. And the sprig forest, you can roughly get about 200 sprigs from over here. Uh, and this is it right here, right by this leaf, you know? There is tons of sprigs all gathered up right here. This is definitely the highest concentration of sprigs in the yard. And like I said, you can get roughly about 200 right here. You just got to watch out, you know, for all the things around here that can kill you. Uh, let's see here. So we got that. We got that. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, yeah, resource scanner. If you don't know about the resource scanner, and a lot of times you might forget, actually, you're like, God, man, I need to go get some scarabs. So you, you're getting ready to go get some scarabs, you know, for your tier three uh, level, like unlocks and stuff on your weapons or your armor or whatnot. Um, well, I guess you don't need it for your armor, just weapons. But uh, yeah, you're like, man, I need some scarabs. And I, I don't know what's the best farming route for scarabs. You could honestly come up with it yourself. You just type in twinkling shells, scan it. And you come over here, and this is typically the route I take. I start from this guy, and I go over here, get these dudes, come up here, and then I go into the undershed. But, uh, you know, that that falls for anything. Like, if you need pebbles, I wouldn't recommend doing this. But if you need pebbles, I mean, there you go. I can't find no pebbles. Baloney, go scan it. I bet you can find all kinds of pebbles. You know what I'm saying? So there's that. I don't know what that is. Walking. Okay, that's an orb weaver. That's an orb weaver. All right, um, so we talked about pretty much all the all the tips that I had written down, guys. If you can think of something else that might help some people out, 
Uh, you know, perfect blocking is a is a thing, a big thing, especially for you new guys that want to get good at the game or just have no issues with the game. Perfect blocking is going to be a huge benefit. Um, and also, a big tip is, you know, don't build your house small. You know, put some size to it because it's fun. This game has so much building and so much capability to build awesome stuff. Just build, man. And join up on the Discord in the uh, description. If you have some sort of crazy huge build, I'm thinking about doing like base tours here pretty soon. Shout outs on the YouTubes and all that good stuff. But I think that's all I got right now off the top with tips. If any of this stuff helped you guys, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, like I said, come join us on the Twitch live every night, baby. Let's go. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope this helped you. And uh, we'll see you on the next one, everybody. Peace.